Like in a DD matchup, you actually don't want to use Cross as much. Even though, like, the Belmonts do have a really good matchup against the heavies, but, like, you need to respect the fact that DD's inhale can actually send it back mm -hmm. and can also, like, inhale projectiles in general. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, like, you need to. Yes, he wins the matchup, but you also need to understand why he wins the matchup and why he might lose the matchup. Right. See what I'm saying? Cross is really good here and angled forwarder because you're going to stop Pikachu from going in for aerials. Oh, I okay. see. You stop the ground approach with Cross, and then you stop the aerial approach with the angled forward air. It's similar to how Link would be playing this matchup in general. Okay, I see. I'm literally, it's, I'm literally going back to 2016 Shinto when Shinto just gave like advice for Robin. He'll give you advice how to play a matchup, but it was advice for Robin. Oh, yeah, you want... Actually, yeah. see, see, the problem The problem. what happened here is that Nitro should have been content to go for a forward air, which would have tethered him to the stage, but he was trying to go for an upbeat. Right. And that's where Ankai made the strike. All right, Nitro just needs a landing, gets the down air, and he immediately goes for a second one. I like it. Sometimes some Belmonts like to go for Nair, so you get the drag down Nair, then you get a combo off the of combo it. it. yeah. Yep. Oh. oh, that was oh. almost the confirm, yeah. like literally a centimeter yeah, off. Yeah, I'm just wondering. So all, all he needs is like one um, holy water set up at this point, but yeah, the that'll tie it up. Is, but the question is, how did he get it? Um. Like I said, Cross is your best friend, and that causes Pikachu to actually respect Cross and hold shield. So that's how you kind of do it. You go, you cross, then you holy water, rather than you holy water and cross. Right. Oh, that was a, that was a lot of energy to, to face. That was amazing. Got through them unscathed. Oh, watch. Okay, I like I like that. He re I re he respected it because he knew he was gonna get crossed up, went for the back air, and then saw that approach. See how he crossed on Holy Water? Because yeah. that's how you that's how you cause Pikachu to actually hold the shield. God. And as a matter of fact, in some matchups, that setup there is actually really good. It's much better than Holy Water Cross. Mm. Instead of having to worry about to cover the ground with a fire hitbox, then you just have it cover at the end. Right. Dash attack is really good and actually sends your opponent at a really good angle to actually get him away from you. Mm. That's kind of one of those things. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, oh you actually up beat! You made it! Eject Ocedo. Good uh, alright, good get off me option. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, like, he just... So, Enkai is not giving Nitro, like, any room at all to breathe, any room to set up. Oh, okay. Uh, that, he almost went for the angle forward there, and that was good, because like, he was looking to get that set up. So, the thing that Belmonts also have, if you're, like, fans of Street Fighter in general, like, Delcine, he has all those, like, elongated hitboxes that he has. But when it comes to close combat, like, the one thing that the Belmonts have that have over most general characters that have their zoners, that his down tilt and his dash attack are actually really going to get out of disadvantage, especially when you're on the ground. Only on the ground. Only on the ground. I'm saying those angled forward airs are going to do tremendous amount of work against Pikachu. And he causes that jump get up to the axe, going to kill at that percent because Pikachu's light. Yeah, because the, the cross is always just uh, a bait to get you to jump. For yeah. The, for the it's, axe. You, would think, you would think the forward air is a fishing lure, but I mean the cross is more fishing lure than anything. It's a good setup. He sets up holy water first on the ground and then cross, but unfortunately okay. he went too far to the right. And wait, this is one of his quarters? Oh, so he's only a buster three though. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I love how like when Pikachu goes back air, like he just like has a little happy oh, face. Oh, he okay. So he kind of like knew he was gonna like air dodge. I guess he just wasn't expecting him to air dodge so yeah. high up. Yeah. But Azure did a really good job of bringing this back though. He was down like a whole stock in the first 20 seconds, so I wouldn't count him out just yet. Oh, wait. okay. I was gonna say he has to watch his get up option because right yeah. there, like Ankai could have caught him off guard. He, it's good that the one thing that I do like about Nitrous understand pressure, that was a great drag down there immediately to the upper. Wouldn't have yeah. killed, but would have started a sequence of yeah. juggles. We would have just given him the momentum to mm -hmm. run with. Okay, good. I, so now he's doing a really good job of keeping out Pikachu too. Like, he's catching on to Enkai's approach. Mm -hmm. approach and now. as he should, because at this point, as the Belmonts, this advantage here. Oh, and he Ooh. gets the sweet spot too! That's ah, always good! Let's go. At this point, your job as the Belmonts, when you have that much range, is to actually force your opponent to go for an aerial approach because Axe has one of the highest end lags in the game for, for Belmonts in terms of their... Um, right. I'm not sorry, not in the game. Axe just has overall just like general like pretty bad end lag. People say like, oh, how do I approach Axe? It's like, well, you gotta know it. It's cooldown isn't the greatest thing, but when they have space, it's great for them. Right. So he's causing... He's literally like, okay, if you want to go for an aerial, you have to face Axe. Okay, this is running at right back. Oh, this is bad. 
I saw this in a Nissan combo video once. <laughs> You know it's bad, right? Oh man, it's so bad. ESAM did it. I saw this in an ESAM combo video. I mean, did that is the... Yo, that's actually worth the clip. I'm so sorry. That actually is really worth the clip. I saw this in an ESAM combo video. I seen on ESAM TV, man. Exactly. Oh, good down there, and he was looking to get the drag down here to get some momentum too. Yeah, because like he said, this is like A2 or something. This is just, this, this is ridiculous in like one of Belmont's work. Uh, but it's the fact that Nitro's playing it really well, like I said, yeah. like he, like this, that, you have to play that matchup like oh, that way. That, that's oh. not gonna be it. That won't kill into a little bit more percent. It gives you critical hit though, but oh, that would have done it if you got it a little bit early, and that will do it the second time around, yo man. Nice. Oh, good tag, oh, that was a good tag, yeah. Oh, and he, I love the retreating bear because he knew Ankai was going to go for an approach after. He knows Belmont's kind of slow. I thought he was going to up you out of shield there. So I just up you in general. Oh, yeah, caught by the whole Wait, fire. they both got caught? Yeah. <gasps> oh, why didn't he go for... Oh, good tech. Good tech roll. This, that was actually smart tech roll. Just to make sure he wasn't going to get tech that way. Oh, that's so unfortunate how... Uh... The Thunder Jolt, can, when it clanks with Prop, it sends it back. Yeah, same thing with uh, Holy Water. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, I saw it with the Holy Water earlier. Okay, he's good, he's good. He has to angle it like, okay, let's see. If he's gonna angle, he has to angle it like a little bit preemptively. Because then Nkai could just go off for a back air. Oh, he missed the up. Oh, way. he just got the sour he spot up smash. He got hit by the sour spot up smash. What he did. did. Oh, he waits he's for the aerial. He, he, he waits to see that jump, too. Oh, he stalls oh. the landing, too. And oh, he even okay. delays the back air just a slight second. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he almost... Oh. He had it. He had it. If he would... if he, Even if he forward smashed, the cross would have sent him to the other direction. Okay, okay. So, this is just what he needs. Oh, he wanted to hold him. And he went for the treating bear because he knew that Enkai picked the right option. And that's usually what happens is, like, if your opponent does get from the, away from the edge guard option there, you want to make sure you get the whip punish because they might be coming at you with an aerial or just coming at you in general. At this point, One forward grab. throw will kill yeah. at the ledge only. Up throw won't kill until like a little bit late. Good delay with oh, the cross, dude. What's he gonna do? Oh, he tried to grab. Oh. Forward throw, back throw, that'll do it. Nitro just taking his sweet time. He doesn't have to do it, but that'll do it against yeah. him. Belmonts are not that heavy. Okay, as long as Nitro takes mo no more than like, say, 30%. No. Yeah. Uh, this is this is no. where Pikachu likes to be here. His own little light Oh, oh but that back air. Right, you said 30%, right. man. This is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, he needs is one conversion. It's yeah. Oh, and he... I like the back air, but I'm telling you, the startup, the air-to-air -air Pikachu can actually get you. <gasps> okay. It's oh. Like, oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Oh, you got it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you're way too... You, right, oh. Yeah, Nitro's way too far off. He really is. Like, you... You can drift that far off from the stage, even though your angled forwarder has that much range as a tether. It's great as range. The problem is, like, if you're that far off, your opponent could just run off air, run off there, run off there. Especially Pikachu, who has great, like, just aerials in general. Like, okay, so uh, Yeah, that second stock right at the end was the most crucial part of this game, too. Yeah. Either, Nitro, Nitro had it, dude. Yeah, either player could have taken the lead at that point. Mm. Every time you say taking the lead, I think of Call of Duty. They have taken the lead. <laughs> it was a classic, dude. Enemy team has taken the lead. <laughs> that was Halo, bro. That was Halo? That was Halo. Like, you, you start off like, like Slayer, and then free for all and then you like someone dies he's like you've lost the lead i was like bro i never knew i had the lead in the beginning with but thanks <laughs> thanks for telling me thanks for telling this me is this, this is still legal no it's not legal but they're going to the fd version oh okay i was about to say why is this all, all fds and battlefields are legal because they are the same blast zone Except as the, long uh, as they do not mess up with any of the axes which is like gamer the Z -axis, yeah the, as long as they don't mess up with the z-axis gamer is one of them that's not legal uh dreamland gba is not legal like all those stages those have like the 2d rendering thing right okay so let's see this is the crucial game three we're thinking of getting boba 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 korean barbecue nah bro I ain't. 
Yo, man, paycheck arrives on Thursday, not Wednesday. That's fine. Just, just ask your boy Joel to spot you. He's already done so much for you. No, bro. Don't put my boy Joel on boss, especially on stream. Poor guy. Let, let him move. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, Nitro will definitely let in Kai live, because he did it so close to get a confirm there. That's what I'm telling you, the crosses is really good at it because in the close range, like, it's just going to stop Pikachu from, like, getting in here. But that's the thing, though. The startup isn't that bad, but if Pikachu just anticipates it, you will get caught. Uh, he's been missing oh, that okay. so many that was, times. That he's been missing that so many times. Oh, uh, good. Going for the angle forward airs and the back air, and he wow, stops he at a bridge. Yeah, he was trying to uh, drift outward, so he caught him on that bad DI. Okay, so this is the first <laughs> when, when, you, when you know like you're doing good, but your opponent caught you the bad guy. Good up B. He knew. He knew that's why Enkai did blow. This is actually the first game where Nitro was up the stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first two games he lost the stock first. Drag down and good forward over here and immediately... Oh! He... Okay, so if after that cross, mm -hmm. he actually could have gone for another forward tilt, or he could have gone <gasps> for forward smash. Wee. He's good, he's good, he's good. He has to watch out for the landing here, but unfortunately, that's where Enkai will take care of things. He okay. should have dipped this a little bit lower, and he might have been fine. Okay, I was actually scared that Enkai was going to drop that, because he could have opted for forward smash, which would yeah. have killed him like, much sooner, but like luckily he managed to still convert that to a stop. Good dash attack as I get off me on and what a great follow-up from forward that back here. He's, he, this is great, this is great, because he's stopping Enkai. Oh, he missed it, he missed it! The directional air dodge did not help out. Good up air, but he got the sour spot. Wait, that's a sour spot? Yeah, there's a sour spot. The internet hit of the chain is a sour spot. The very end and the tip of the chain is the, the sun strong spot. Oh, it has a tipper effect. Okay, got it, got it. Same You're going to learn today, bro. Today. So, yeah, Nitro's really sizable lead as long as he doesn't get gimped like at 10 and just keeps yeah. doing what he's doing. <gasps> oh, and he angled. That was so good because he had been angry. He'd been throwing the cross inward. Close to the ledge, the one time he's like, "All right, fine, I'll throw the cross a little bit further." And Kai wasn't already. And that's the thing about, um, sorry, not cross. Axe is the axe can actually has three ranges: close, mid, and long. And you have to like all determine on how you press the B button. Oh wait, wow, good, good roll there, Ooh, only, that... only to get a whip punish. I'm just gonna assume that was a misinput. Yeah. Good way to punish here. That was good. That was good. As I'm saying, like, every time your opponent gets off the ledge, they might try to punish you because they know your aerials typically have end lag. But the one thing that I'll if you see him going for every single time is he goes for a little aerial, aerial holy water, aerial yeah. cross, aerial axe, because the, the end lag is a little bit different off the stage. And unfortunately, and Kai will that take the L. That was such a commanding game three. Yeah, yeah. You could tell towards the end, he just had to figure it out. Yeah. Like, he was calling out all the spots he was going to land before he got there. Exactly. Like, that must have discouraged Enkai. He a lot was already of down in stock. He wasn't sure what to do. Like, there was just nothing you could do to stop his wave of momentum. Exactly. And especially if you get that roll get up from Arc Fire, which a lot of people, sorry for um, Holy Water, which a lot of people tend to do, mm. you can just punish that. Like, that's why he had the spacing. So, like, that's what makes one of the, in my opinion, Belmonts are probably for sure high tier in this game. I don't think they're the greatest high tier though. But they're like they're like the 